Today we are heading to Malabar Key. Almost two months now of sailing around the Bahamas with a dead motor. And the Exumas are incredible because there's so many different little islands. After backpacking, we decided to see the world by sailboat. We sailed from the Great Lakes of Canada and made it to the Bahamas where the unexpected happened. We're still not able to start the engine. And we're gonna have a feast. We got a dolphin fish! Let's go! It's just epic! So today we are heading to Malabar Key, which is about 18 miles away from where we were in Shrodki. Should be an easy sail and then we're gonna go do some diving or snorkeling in the Exumas Land and Sea Park. Really excited. We are still sailing with our buddy boat Vinyasa. There's Therese, the Norwegian, and Cody, the American. Every sail turns into a fun race. Another day of sailing. We're protected by Exumas. We're sailing along at a good like 6.5 knots. And I think we're getting pretty used to pulling up anchor and setting it with no motor. It's been our entire trip so far, almost two months now, of sailing around the Bahamas with a dead motor. So we're really picking up our sailing game, getting better at it, and having a lot of fun. And I, I just got to say how much I love sailing on the lee shore of these islands, on the protected side, because we just end up there's no waves it's just super calm and we cruise along at a good speed and it's just really nice and then when we're ready to come pick an anchorage we just kind of tack in get as close as we can and uh, pick our spot when we get nice and close So far it's been quite nice sailing. I, I thought it would be a lot more challenging. Of course when the weather changes it's, it tends to be more difficult and you have to really pick and choose your anchorage. But other than that, um, we've been good. And honestly the weather's been really cooperative for, for what we're doing. There's only been a couple northerlies that we've had to really pick our spot and be extra cautious about where we we're gonna stay. We've realized that most cruisers do that anyway. so. It's not super detrimental to our plan, what we have to do. One thing that we aren't doing here in the Exumas is going really deep into some of these cuts and stuff and to like these really, uh, I guess w what would be protected anchorages but tend to be really surgy and really affected by current. We just tend to stay on the west side of the island which is really working well for our east winds that we keep getting.
And there they go. No engine, no problems. Sailing on and off the anchor. I love it. That's one thing I love about these guys. Even though they might have lost their engine and things just seemed down, they didn't give a crap. They're still cruising. And that's what sailing's all about. Realizing that you're not a motorboat and you can still live even though your engine goes out. <laughs> Perfect. Come in under the main, under full sail actually. Drop their anchor and then now they're gonna back wind the main to uh, drop back on their anchor and set it. Perfect. And there it goes, now the anchor's set. <laughs> Good job, guys. Beautiful. No engine, no problem, man. We made it! We are at Malabar Reef or little these little rocks just outside of Wardrick Wells and uh, we're gonna do some diving. It's gonna be fun. Check out all the colorful fish and nice coral and we might even stay here tonight because we weren't sure if it was gonna be messy with the, the waves and stuff because it's just these little rocks kind of in the middle of nothing um, but it seems like it's gonna be fun and it's a little more private than Wardrick Wells with the moorings and stuff down there. So, provided nobody sneaks in here because they see us here. Oh darn, as I'm speaking, this guy's coming back in. <laughs> oh well. So today we did about a 20 mile sail from where we were. And I love those days that you get a short sail and then you get to actually enjoy the rest of the day and do some activities. It just feels like you're doing more and being more active. And the Exumas are incredible because of that reason, because there's so many different little islands that you can make your days as long or as short as you want. And especially with that east wind, it's perfect. We can anchor right on this side. We got into the habit of diving on our anchor almost every time we came into a new anchorage, just to make sure it was well set. We didn't want to see our boat dragging while left alone or have to get out of a tricky situation without an engine. Once satisfied, it was time to go snorkel. Corey quickly found conch shells. Unfortunately, Malabar Cays are within the Exuma Cays Land and Sea Park, which means no fishing allowed. And we were in for a real free diving treat.
so much fun. And I'm actually holding my breath for longer now. You're getting better? Yeah, you're doing awesome. Snorkeling around the rocks here was a lot of fun. The reefs are, I mean, not as good as yesterday, but there's little patches here and there. We even found some sort of shipwreck that we dove on. And like the depth around here is maybe 15, 20 feet. And it kind of goes really steep right next to the island. So it's like quite a bit of a wall, which is a lot of fun to just kind of swim, swim around it. And there was a barracuda that kept following me. He scared me. I was swimming, not aware of him. And all of a sudden I turn around and he's like not even 10 feet away from me, chasing me. And the men are still out swimming. They've got wetsuits, so they don't get cold compared to me and Therese. There are just as many Ks in the Exumas as there are days of the year, 365. And the Malabar Caves definitely were up there with the amount of sea life we saw. But we only explored so many of them. When I saw the videos, I was so mad that I didn't stay out with Cory and Cody for longer. Free diving that close to Nurse Shark is such a special thing. Many people ask about the water temperature in the Bahamas. It was much warmer than Canadian waters at about 23 degrees centigrade or 74 degrees Fahrenheit. But when you spend hours in the water, you can still get pretty cold. Shallower reefs are of course a little warmer than the deeper ones and it was colder in the cuts where there was lots of current. Whew. Man, I don't know how many hours we were out there, but that was a good snorkel. Saw so much sea life. Uh, nerf sharks, turtles, lobsters, huge snappers, just so much. And this wetsuit was, I barely felt the water. It's a lot better with a wetsuit. I'm not quite as good as Cory and Cody when it comes to diving deep and holding my breath, but
but today was a little bit of a personal accomplishment. I could actually hold my breath for quite a while, which made it so much more enjoyable because I could dive down and go see all the fish and those huge lobsters. There was like four of them in the hole. So it just makes it so much more nicer when you can actually stay longer down there because you really get to experience all the sea life, which is fantastic in the Exumas Park. Right there is where we went snorkeling. What was your highlight of the diving we just did? My highlight was being able to stay long down in the water. And I mean, there was some huge fish. That was kind of fun. But I missed out on the nurse sharks. They saw a nurse shark and swam right next to it. And I wasn't there. I was doing some editing for you. By the way, our little day is still inflated two days later. <laughs> enjoying another sunset but as per usual the clouds sneak in right as the sun hits this basically right as the green flash might be coming we get clouds <laughs> in there supposedly there's some underwater caves the rocky dundas Onward to Pipe Cave. Look at the teeth on that snapper. We got like better than restaurant food, so. Yeah, we're, we actually can't even roll the burritos. Yeah. 